Here's a shocking statistic. More than a third of all fruit and vegetables grown in India end up in landfills like these. But across some 400 villages in the western part of the country, these solar-powered dryers, all operated by women, are now tackling the challenge head-on. These are built by S4S Technologies, a startup that won the prestigious Earthshot Prize for climate impact this year. So this isn't exactly a high-tech device at all with any complex technology, electronics or chips. But these dryers expand the life cycle of basic perishables like onions, for instance, or tomatoes that would have otherwise rotted. It's a frugal, low-cost, climate-friendly solution to preserving second-grade produce that normally doesn't find a market. They're also a cheap alternative to expensive cold storage facilities, which are few and far between in these rural areas. Solar drying is known since ages, the open sun drying. Sheetal Somani is one of the co-founders of the startup that makes these dryers. So Sheetal, can you explain how exactly this works? So in the solar dryer, basically we use the solar energy uh, to convert in the heat form and give that heat to the product. So when we say about the heat, the heat is from this surface, which is a food grade insulated black metallic surface. Mm. It is uh, giving the heat from the bottom to the product. At the same time, when the air enters from this aspect, we close the dryer, mm. that air also carries is the moisture away from the product mm. and third is the solar radiation which are falling from the this top surface on the product and all these three modes of heat transfer helps to remove the moisture from the product. Keeping the tech simple and low cost has allowed S4S to onboard thousands of women entrepreneurs to do this job. It's also been a game changer for the local farmers. At the crack of dawn, Shivaji Pawar is sorting his onion harvest to be sent to the drying facility. Onion prices are very volatile. When the cost of transport is more than the cost of production, I used to just throw away the crop. Many times, the lower grade crop wouldn't get sold. Nearly half of what I had grown would rot. But now, all of it gets picked up at the farm gate and my income has gone up substantially. Once dried, the produce comes to this factory, which processes it further into packaged food that's sold to big companies and restaurants. So we started this facility in 2000. The farm to factory chain gives growers an assured market and helps cut middlemen. Can you talk a little bit about the various levels at which you're creating impact? We are creating impact at the three main levels. First is the food wastage, where we are reducing the food wastage by converting this B or C grade material into the value added products. That is the first level. Second, we are uh, giving these dryers, like most of the dryers, 100% of the dryers are used by the women entrepreneurs, the women farmers. And the third is the carbon emission. As this technology is the solar based technology, so we are reducing on the carbon emission part also. Right now we are at 2,000 women farmers, but we, are, we can see like in three years time we can reach to 10,000 women farmers. And uh, the farmers network that we are building, which is a direct or the indirect farmers network, we can see clearly a 1 million farmers lives we can impact. India is vast and diverse. Identifying the right produce in the right geography and creating a market for it is a challenge. But solutions like these, if scaled up, can help millions of India's poorest farmers reduce waste and grow their incomes.